Good evening and welcome to MTV's News Update for today, October 28, 2022. I'm Sani Ramatar. First, our top headlines. AG intervenes following arrest of lawyer. Issues apology. Finance Minister instructs NIS to ensure dialysis patients receive their grants. President donates $1.5 million to the Salvation Army. And in sport, 16 teams to compete in Guinness Greatness of the Streets. Now for the news in detail. Minister of Legal Affairs and Attorney General Anil Nandla has issued a public apology to your lawyer Tamika Clark and arranged for a release after she was allegedly threatened and later detained by the Special Organized Crime Unit, SOCO, for advising her client to exercise his rights. Jessica Canada reports. Attorney at law Tamika Clark was arrested on Friday by the Special Organized Crime Unit, SOCU, for advising her client to remain silent. While it remains unclear about the details and why she was taken into custody, Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nandlal says he promptly arranged for her release and issued an apology when he heard of the incident. The minister also engaged SOCU head Faisal Karambash in his capacity as the constitutional legal advisor to the police force. In that explanation, of course, he confirmed that Ms. Clark was being detained. I advised Mr. Karim Baksh to immediately release Ms. Clark from police custody. I spoke with Ms. Clark and I informed her of my intervention and my advice, and I offered uh, my apologies as a colleague of the bar for the unfortunate incident. The Bar Association, in a statement, claimed that the arrest follows a threat made to the attorney at law earlier this week that she would be arrested if her client does not provide a statement to the police on a matter they are investigating. Clark practiced with the Director of Public Prosecutions for four years and has been in private practice for the past three years. Speaking at a press briefing earlier today, she recalled the events leading up to her arrest, including being threatened on Tuesday last. Ramana told me, you're going to come back, you and your client are going to come back on Thursday at 1 p.m. And if your client does not give a statement on Thursday at 1 p.m., I will arrest you. I said, you are arresting me for advising my client to remain silent. He said, counsel, all I can advise you is that counsel will need counsel. The Guyana Association of Women Lawyers and Bar Association have both vehemently condemned the actions of SOKU. The Bar Association has called on the Commissioner of Police to issue an apology to Clark, compensate her for unlawful imprisonment, and launch a full investigation and to terminate officers involved in the matter. The Police Office of Professional Responsibility has since been instructed to launch an investigation into the allegations. Attorney at Law Clark has also indicated that she will be taking legal action against the state. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Jessica Callender. Ghana and the European Union will later this year sign a voluntary partnership agreement on forest law enforcement, governance and trade to meet international standards on the export of lead of timber. More in this report. Representatives of Ghana and the European Union met to discuss the implementation of the Voluntary Partnership Agreement on Forest Law Enforcement, Governance and Trade. This agreement will help improve forest governance and sustainable forestry and verify the trade in legal timber. During the meeting, the parties said the agreement will be signed before the end of this year. Through the VPA's implementation, Ghana will further strengthen the sustainable use of its forest resources, reduce illegal timber trade and better modernize timber operations. Ghana will be joining a selected group of Asian, African and American countries committed to the protection of their forest. Ghana will become the first VPA country in the Amazon region and the second in the Americas after Honduras, making it a front-runner in sustainable forest management, adhering to the highest international standards. The parties agreed to focus their efforts on the further development and implementation of strengthened operational processes for the sector and a robust paper-based and digital traceability system of logs and timber that meets the VPA's requirements. They also discussed how they will continue to engage with national and international stakeholders interested in VP implementation. They committed to putting in place a range of tools to ensure that interested audiences can follow the developments and impacts of VP implementation. 
The next meeting of the Joint Monitoring and Review Committee, which reviews progress of the implementation of the Ghana EU VPA, is scheduled to take place in May 2023. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as at 10 feet by four and a half feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable, and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut, for that 31 years of Lens quality. Planning a cleanup? We can help. Sivan's waste management skip bins can be provided for home renovation projects yard cleanups or construction sites it's simple step one just pick up the phone and give us a call step two we deliver the skip bin size of your choice step three load the skip with all of your junk and finally step four we take it all away it's that simple bins are also available in various sizes so there's no job that's too big or too small call Sivan's waste management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156 Live your fantasy at Fantasy Game & Lounge. Win big daily. Millions in cash prizes every week. Now located at Gifland Mall. The Guyana School of Agriculture, Guyana's premier institution for certificate and diploma education in agriculture, has opened its virtual learning platform to all students, both in Guyana and abroad. Two-year programs now available are the Diploma in Animal Health and Veterinary Public Health, Diploma in Agriculture. The certificate program over one year are those offered in agriculture, fisheries, forestry, and agro-processing. Entrance requirements and other relevant information to get you started on your career in agriculture can be found on the GSA website gsa.edu.gy or email gsa.campus at gmail.com. The Guyana School of Agriculture with its main campus at Monrepo, East Coast Temerara and at Cottonfield, Essequibo. Let's get you started in the business of agriculture. by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26 or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. The writers of this program are depending on my ethnic but non-threatening voice to explain things they are too lazy to set up traditionally. Only two months into the semester. Marcos, I was watching that. What's the matter with you? Noreen, why you have all these things plugged in, man? You really don't check them bills, you know? You know the cost of electricity? Marcos, you can't be so ridiculous. That's the fridge. Why would you unplug the fridge? I don't understand why the cost of electricity is so high in this country, man. Somebody has to do something. Marcus, you know what I realize? Something is really wrong with you. How are we supposed to live without electricity? Hello, just like our ancestors survived back in the days. I will have you know, Marcus, Noreen Angela Melville is not cut out for that type of life. And already the ninth Ivy League squad buzz with future Olympians and presidents. Hmm. Within Did you know the gas to energy project is expected to reduce the cost of electricity by up to 50%? Yes, that project will slash electricity bills in half. 
This will also unleash a tsunami of benefits for the manufacturing sector in Guyana. Wow! Marcos, did you hear that? Electricity will be cheaper. Now, Marcos, for the love of God, plug the fridge back in. For the admissions brochure. This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. The Health Ministry's Health Sciences Education Program on Friday hosted Health Walk and Mini Fair to raise awareness about breast cancer. Details from Jessica Kando. Students from the Health Ministry's MedEx training program this morning hosted a health walk using banners and slogans to raise awareness about breast cancer. This was followed by the hosting of a health fair, where medical and nursing students provided breast examinations, visual inspection with acetic acid, nutrition advice, adolescent health education, men's and women's health education, mental health sensitization, blood pressure testing, blood donation, HB and RBS testing services to the public. Coordinator of the MedEx training program in health science education at the Ministry of Health, Sarah Daniels, said this initiative was a valuable opportunity for the students who were to interact with the public and educate them about health care. Most of these students actually come from the interland communities, so they actually showcase their talents and the togetherness, team spirit, teamwork, and so forth. And I think with that, they, they try to create that message, uh, whether on the banners, whether on the placards, to go out there, to, for the people out there to understand, creating that awareness among our population. Deputy Coordinator of the MedEx Training Program, Chandruti Pustat, said most of the students are set to graduate soon, and as such, these health fairs give them a small taste of the field of work they will be getting into. The coordinators noted that they received an overwhelming response from Kingston residents and other members of the public who came out to take advantage of the initiative. Prasad says today's activities focus as well on making an impact that will benefit persons beyond the day's events. So after the activity, it's not about this month only, but it's a continuous awareness program that we're trying to push through our students as well, who would be there out in the fields after probably a few months, they will graduate in their respective programs and join the health force. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Jessica Kalner. Finance Minister Dr. Ashley Singh has instructed the National Insurance Scheme to ensure all dialysis patients receive their $600,000 grant after receiving complaints that persons were having difficulties with their reimbursement. More in this report. Senior Minister in the Office of the President with responsibility for finance, Dr. Ashley Singh, on Thursday met with the management of the National Insurance Scheme to discuss complaints he received that persons were encountering difficulties as it relates to reimbursements for the payment of dialysis treatment. The finance minister expresses disappointment that dialysis patients were experiencing this difficulty and has since instructed NIS to ensure all dialysis patients receive their $600,000 grant per annum. The grant was introduced earlier this year in response to the government's recognition of the severe challenges being faced by persons undergoing dialysis treatment and the tremendous costs of medication and access to treatment. He said persons who have been contributing to NIS over the years should not be penalised. The minister has also urged any person who may still be encountering such issues to contact the Ministry of Finance. More news coming up after the break. Stay with us. Are you building or renovating your home? Then come to Beeson for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, awning, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are sealed tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At Beeson, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum rails, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at La 1228 Echoes Industrial Site or call 622-4197 or 623-4197. Peace on windows and doors. Filled with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. There are nine food-based dietary guidelines in Guyana for you to follow and live a healthy life. Guidelines 5 and 6 deals with sugar and salt consumption. An important step we can take to watch our sugar and salt consumption is to read food labels. This is very important as there are a lot of sugars and salt in many of the foods we eat and drink. 
So when we are reading the labels, we need to look, for instance, at the sugar content and the amount stated, and multiply that by the servings per container to know the total sugar in the product. Or we look at the salt or sodium content and the amount stated and multiply that by the servings per container to know the total salt in the product. The daily recommended amount of added sugar for males and females should be 60 spoons or less and the daily recommended amount of salt should be less than 1 teaspoon. For instance, the amount of sugar in this size of soft drink could be as much as 16 teaspoons and in this kind of drink as much as 10 teaspoons. Please, let's pay attention to what you are eating as overconsumption of unhealthy foods leads to many illnesses including high blood pressure, obesity and heart disease. Come on Guyana, let's use the food-based dietary guidelines to reach for a better life with good health. Hi, my name is Jiren Safwi and I'm very excited to have G20 set up this fiber cable. As you can see, I'm young, so I'll be using this uh, Wi-Fi, this internet, to be doing my everyday browsing and searching and, you know, just my homework and assignments, playing games, watching YouTube, you know, the regular stuff. Um, I really enjoy this service. I think it's extremely great and you also have like the free minutes so for that you know if you're in trouble you call your parents or someone Saturday, October 29th, Brassman, Grand Glen, Sand Road, Suzai. We will we'll come alive when 592 Movement in Highway Cafe. He's on the Big Show and Jam Car. Chutney Meat Soap, the line of top. Hikari Singh. Up and gone away. Chomo Green. I live in my life. Hey, hey, Carl so Bernard, Felita Willie, and Katie Kish will take the stage live. One Boy's Family, Wadley, and Silver Star is gonna juggle. Early bird tickets, $1,000. Gates, $1,500. Chutney Meat Soka. Saturday, October 29th in Suzai. The Gift Center, conveniently located at 46 Hatfield Street, opposite the White Castle Fish Shop, we are the best place to find quality products for yourself, your home, or a friend. Display your cherished memories in the perfect picture frame. Shop from a great selection of accessories for men, such as belts, wallets, and more. And for the women, find a great selection of handbags to suit your taste. Choose your signature scent or a timeless classic from our wide array of ladies and gents designer fragrances. We offer a range of innovative games that will guarantee you many hours of unspeakable fun. Enhance the decor of your home with beautiful lamps and unique wall art, just to name a few. The Gift Center, where quality is never compromised. Hello, homeowners and painters. We're happy with the response we have gotten. Thank you. As such, we're now offering the multi-surface roof, floor, and wall polyurethane paint at a special reduced price of 2,500 per 1.5 gallons bucket. This paint can be used on wood, concrete, zinc, and metal. Don't forget we have a new shipment of oil paint with shades such as Morning Glory, Nantucket Grey or White, and many more familiar shades to choose from. The water-based paint at 3,600 per gallon and the oil-based paint for 4,300 per gallon. Come into our showroom to view the colors and let's beautify our surroundings. Global sales and distribution, Lot 140 B, Kwame Street, opposite King's Jewelry World between Waterloo and Carmichael Street. Look for the red front building. Telephone 504 3908 or 6220601. Regent and Royal Paints created for you at the most competitive price. See you soon! You are tuned to MTV's News Update. President Dr. Fernandi on Friday handed over $1.5 million to the Salvation Army to kick off their annual Christmas Kettle fundraising activity. He also took the opportunity to applaud the organization for their humanitarian work in Guyana. The organization provides services for the elderly, the homeless, the care packages for institutions, and rehab for persons faced with drug addiction. The Salvation Army's divisional commander, Major Martinal St. Lot praised the president for his donation, noting that it is even more significant as they deal with the ramifications of the COVID-19 pandemic and increased cost of living. Patrons are urged to come out this weekend to support Nothing to Laugh About 13, which will be held at the National Cultural Center. 
the patrons could come out and have a good time as usual. Those who know nothing to laugh about, you know, we're renowned for hilarious comedy. It's not going to be anything less. We just love uh, lots of laughter, people laughing away, and um, we like to overdo it, so to speak. We never like people just leave the culture center and say, oh, we had a good time. They must say, oh, we had that time and they must keep talking about it like you know discussing it in the workplace when they get back to work and um, you know when they see us they keep telling us about the parts that they love and things like that so this is a uh, it's on this weekend it's not Friday I must say it's, a lot of people know we always do the Friday but this time we adjusted because of our experience a lot of people say Friday is still the weekend and um, you know they got a lot of weekend workers like people at the bar and, and the service industry Street. They work during the weekends. So we put a Monday. So it's now Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the 29th, 30th, 31st. So don't forget, 8 o'clock sharp and uh, National Cultural Center dress code in effect. People need to dress. Um, you know, it's our national pride, man, the cultural center. I know people like to dress anyhow and so on, but when you come into the cultural center, you come with the other half and things like that to bring the family out. It's a good time to dress up, look good, because the dress code in effect. So make sure that you come out on time, 8 p.m., because at the beginning of the, the show, even though it's an amalgamation of uh, various short sketches and so on what can happen there might be a piece at the front that might be a sequel to something that happens later on in the program so i'm hoping that you know you guys um, come out a little early come from the beginning so that you don't have to wait on an appropriate time to come in the cultural center come prepare to laugh prepare you don't take that statement lightly come prepare to laugh we now take a look at tips for healthy living Here's everything you need to know about tuberculosis. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis, or TB, is a bacterial infection that spreads through inhaling tiny droplets from the coughs or sneezes of an infected person. It mainly affects the lungs, but it can also affect any part of the body, including the tummy, abdomen, glands, bones, and nervous system. TB is a potentially serious condition, but it can be cured if it's treated with the right antibiotics. Signs and Symptoms If you've contracted TB, then you might exhibit some or all of the following symptoms. A persistent cough that lasts for more than three weeks and usually brings up phlegm, which may be bloody. Weight loss, night sweats, high temperature, tiredness and fatigue, loss of appetite. If you suspect TB, then you should probably visit a doctor to receive a proper diagnosis. Causes in most healthy people, the body's natural defense against infection and illnesses, that is, the immune system, kills the bacteria and there are no symptoms. Sometimes the immune system cannot kill the bacteria, but manages to prevent it from spreading in the body. You will not have any symptoms, but the bacteria will remain in your body. This is known as latent TB. People with latent TB are not infectious to others. If the immune system fails to kill or contain the infection, it can spread within the lungs or other parts of the body, and symptoms will develop within a few weeks or months. This is known as active TB. Latent TB could develop into an active TB disease at a later date, particularly if your immune system becomes weakened. Treatment With treatment, TB can almost always be cured. A course of antibiotics will usually need to be taken for six months. Several different antibiotics are used because some forms of TB are resistant to certain antibiotics. If you're diagnosed with pulmonary TB, you'll be contagious for about two to three weeks into your course of treatment. You will not usually need to be isolated during this time, but it's important to take some basic precautions to stop the infection from spreading to your family and friends, such as wearing a mask or partial self-isolation. Of course, there is also the option of being vaccinated for TB. The BCG vaccine offers protection against TB and is recommended for babies, children, and adults under the age of 35 who are considered to be at risk of catching TB. The BCG vaccine is not routinely given to anyone over the age of 35 as there is no evidence that it works for people in that age group.
ISG and MTV's sport update comes up our after break. Stay with us. Hi, my name is Jiren Safwi and I'm very excited to have GTT set up this fiber cable. As you can see in Young, so I'll be using this uh, Wi-Fi, this internet, to be doing my everyday browsing and searching and you know, just my homework and assignments, playing games, watching YouTube, you know the regular stuff. Um, I really enjoy this service. I think it's extremely great and you also have like the free minutes so for that, you know, if you're in trouble, you call your parents or someone. Your why are you minding me business? I noticed you yesterday, you're there watching, 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 watching. Today you're there here again. Why are you minding me business? I fed up your nosy self. Yeah, baby, I just love your windows. Why are you bad eyeing me window? Like you house single window? What kind of window really in your house? I got some all louvers windows that I need to change. Louvers! <laughs> There's they at it! People still got louvers with a... Girl, I let you in for a secret, right? Peace and got a special deal right now. You go along there, you buy 10 window, you get a free bathroom window. Oh, for the love of God, try with them louvers window and go along to Peace and modernize. Peace and windows and doors. Serving Guyana with the highest quality windows for your home, office or commercial building. The Central Housing and Planning Authority has employed the services of rangers and we're kindly asking you, the members of the public, for your full cooperation as we seek to bring order and semblance to communities under our management. Our rangers are responsible for the monitoring of schemes for contravention under the Tongue and Country Planning Act and agreement of sales issued to allottees responding appropriately to reports made by members of the public or allottees in schemes where there are illegal activities in contravention of the CHMPA's policies and the Tongue and Country Planning Act to undertake investigations into report on the misuse of the roads, squatting, animal nuisance and dumping of garbage and derelict vehicles in schemes issue notices for illegal construction and letters regarding penalties to be paid for the storage of materials on the roads within our schemes. Our rangers will be properly identifiable at all times as they have all been outfitted with the agency's badge. From time to time they will be in your community so in order for them to function effectively and better serve you, your cooperation is needed. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens available in tinted or clear complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Charlie, girl, you want me? <gasps> Sorry, I'm interrupting y'all. Marla, I'm here taking the census. Girl, you done got a husband already, huh? Miss, I am a census taker, going door to door so that everyone can be interviewed and counted in the National Census 2022. What is the census though? Well, the Population and Housing Census is a count of the population and all the buildings every 10 years. Getting counted transforms an entire nation. From Region 1 to Region 10. You know what? I believe our village needs a health center. I think it needs some roads too. You see the man boots out there, how it full of mud, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm asking Mrs. De Silva a few questions from our question here. We record the answers and then the data is used to help shape the future of the country. Oh, so the two y'all not. Oh gosh. We called him. Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mattings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information, call us at 2206907 or 2209192. Oh, my mama! Oh, my mama! You, 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 you,
Oh my god! What 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 the shot is by here, sir? I'm never gonna go for that in! Hey, call an ambulance, call an ambulance! Mommy, me, 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 Oh my guy! Hey, this, this, this! Hello? Hey. Hello? Yes? You don't understand the man get shit in the chest? He lay down right there, he die in yeah, yeah, and he'll... But you don't understand, I see him go high, boy. I see when this guy try to pass, I shoot his body in his stomach. The man lay down in front of me, right now rolling. Oh my guy, hey! Um, people! People! Watch! Watch! Watch what go on here, sir! Don't shoot this poor boy here, sir! Oh my god! This is where this country go on with, dog! This is where the poor put thing! Nobody not even help the boy! They don't sit down here, sir, and take pictures, sir! This is the, this is what people can go through in this life here, sir! Oh! Hey, 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 shut your mouth! Shut up! You don't see me there alive, but tell people go on! Eh? Tell me, ambulance! But, like, you know, hey, shut your mouth! Eh? That's nothing to laugh about, part 13. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM Machinery, a Caterpillar brand. SKF bearings and mounted products. NAPA batteries, Tide power generators. Discover the greatest source of power. Industrial Supply of Guyana Inc. The best opportunity to make the right choice. The best of the best Warriors Cup 2022 returns after a two year hiatus with Guyana's top martial artists set to compete with visitors from Trinidad and Tobago for a shot at the trophies and prizes. The 17th Best of the Best Warriors Cup will be held on December 4th at the National Gymnasium. This is according to Quasi Bavigans, head of the Best of the Best Martial Arts Motivators Association. We have approximately 9 to 10 clubs participate in this national competition, which um, is, is not nothing new to everyone here in Guyana because the Best of the Best always hosts their tournament every year, but because of the pandemic, 2020 and 2021, we didn't get to host no competition because of that. But this competition is based on discipline and motivating youths. Participating clubs include the Blackhawks, Guyana Mixed Martial Arts Federation, Tang Sudo International Guyana, while invitations have also been extended to other clubs such as the Guyana Karate College. Competitors from Trinidad and Tobago will be participating in the event. This martial arts showcase will feature competitors in Kung Fu, Shotokan, Tang Sudo, Mixed Martial Arts and Judo. Events feature sparring, grappling, team kata, traditional and free kata. Age categories are 6 and under, 7 to 9, 10 to 12, 13 to 15, 16 to 18, 18 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, and 45 and over. Trophies and medals will be awarded to top athletes, while a monetary prize will be given to the martial arts school that wins the most gold. The event returns after a two-year hiatus due to the pandemic. Uh, well, the turnout will be exceptional in my view because our tournament, we always get at least 11 to 12 schools from Guyana alone. So I'm hoping for the best turnout and also looking for the support from the general public to be there. The entrance fee is $300 at the door with events starting from 10 a.m. Some sponsors who help make the return of the cup possible are Modern Optical, Ministry of Tourism, National Sports Commission, and the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports. Action in the Georgetown Football Association's Senior Men's League continues on Sunday, September 30 at the GFC ground with longtime rivals Paley Football Club taking on Santos FC while GFC do battle with newcomers Ven GFC. GFA President Otis James says the fans can expect much in the opening matches of the Super 8 round of the tournament. GFC is one of the leading teams in Georgetown and over the years we know GFC has been striving they made it to the elite league once, but now they're fighting their way right back up to the top. Venji, Young, Promising. They do that'll be the first game at 5 p.m. And the second game, you'd see football rivalry. The history of football 
depends on these two teams. Santos Pil. We all know since in the 60s that Santos Pilling, real football rivalry, really clashes from the days of the Demico League right through to the now the George Young Football League. So we expect some really, really, really exciting football this Sunday at GFC. With 84 matches played in the first round of action in the league, which began in May this year, the GFA boss, while impressed with the level of competition exhibited, believes that this is just the first step in seeing Georgetown football regain its standing in local football. Although it is good for me to have football, I'm, I'm not of the opinion that we dare yet. I'm still of the opinion that my administration is still a work in progress. I don't think we're there yet, in spite of playing 84 matches, bringing football back to light from since 2017 to now. Um, I, I don't think we're there yet. I think we have a lot more to go. We have a lot more to offer. We have a long way to go to, to make the GFA what it was before and to bring it to a next level. The GFA football match for Sunday, September 30 kicks off at 17 hours. The Guinness greatness of the streets East Coast, the Mara Legs, is set to kick off this evening at the Haslington Tarmac with organizers anticipating highly entertaining encounters. Banks DIH Guinness brand manager Lee Baptist says he is pleased to once again be able to see the sport active throughout the country. As you know, the company is very, usually we're, we're very, um, you know, happy to be a part of community events, constructive um, community events. And we know over the past three years, this has been absent. And, um, you know, we wish the teams playing in this tournament well. Eight, 16 teams, um, three nights of action-packed football. The Guinness brand manager called on the 16 teams competing in the tournament to give their all as they look to entertain their communities. I encourage everybody to come out. As not as Harry would say all the time, the referee's decision is final. And we want clean fun, clean fun, um, very um, attractive football, play hard, but at the same time, remember, it's a sport and we're building, building relationships within the community. After three nights of football, the winner of the tournament will be able to walk away with $250,000. Some of the teams set to compete in the tournament are Melanie B. Paradise, Victoria Churchyard, Lillian Dahl Hustlers, Belfield Uprising, Victoria Eagles, Beirut, Haslington, and Old School. Quarterfinal action in the tournament will be played on Saturday, October 29th, with the semi-final and final set for November 5th. Meanwhile, referees coordinator Wayne Griffith called on teams to have fun and play their best abilities throughout the tournament. Thanks again for having again. It's back on the East Coast. Uh, I'm just going to you know, remind the teams that remember this game is play hard and keep it clean. Remember the game, the second half of every game, the last three minutes, any goal score it goes as a Guinness goal, and that counts as two goals. Just remember that, guys. And remember the game is played for 10 minutes a half. Please, guys, come out and play the football clean, keep it fair, and have had a good fun. And thanks for Banks again to bring back the Guinness on board. Action kicks off at 19 hours at the Haslington Tarmac. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which was brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. And that brings down the curtain on tonight's newscast. But before we go, here's a reminder of our top stories. AG intervenes following arrest of lawyer, issues apology. Finance Minister instructs NIS to ensure dialysis patients receive grant. President donates $1.5 million to the Salvation Army. And in sport, 16 teams to compete in the Guinness Greatness of the Streets. 
Catch our event guests tomorrow at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. You can also check out our website at mtvgy.com for these and other stories. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Sandy Ramutar saying stay safe and goodbye for now.